An 8 News taking action alert tonight. A woman lost thousands of dollars after scammers locked her out of her computer and gained access to her bank account. 8 News reporter Olivia Jake would sat down with her today as she's urging others to be careful. Olivia, how is that woman holding up tonight? Well, Deanna, more than anything, she tells me she's embarrassed and she feels like she should have known better. She says these scammers even went so far as to threaten to come to her home and force her to buy gift cards as a form of payment to them. That's why she's speaking out in the hopes that no one else will have to go through this. Neighbor, a Henrico woman. She was the crisis that was going on when those people called me last week. Scammed out of more than $7,500. I was so upset. And I have a pacemaker, and I thought I was having a heart attack. Robin Loyal is a widow living at home with her four legged family members. Last Wednesday, she received a phone call. Hello? The gentleman on the line told me that my computer had gone active and that anybody and everybody could get access to anything on my computer and they needed to fix it. I just needed to log on to my computer so that they could fix it. Loyal says she was locked out of her phone and internet for three days, despite the caller ID saying it came from Verizon. When she finally got access back to her computer, she saw that $7,000 had been transferred from the Bank of America account in her name to someone in Ecuador, and another $625 was transferred to India. I get my retirement check, social security check, and my husband's military benefits as his survivor. And then they've got to send me paper checks, which means my bills won't get paid on time. So I called Loyal's alleged scammer, but the line rang busy. Just hang up on these people. They are so slick. It isn't funny. It isn't funny. And I'm a, I'm a retired teacher, so I know better. And they got me. They got me big, big. Now, Henrico police are investigating, and Loyal says she has contacted her bank, credit card companies, and Verizon, but has no real resolution at this time. I've also reached out to her bank and Verizon for answers, but am waiting a response. For now, live in Henrico County, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.